make better decisions whether whether oh, I can't speak to Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about clothes. Do you ever wake up and wanna get dressed and you go through your closet and you can't find anything to wear? Even though your closet looks like this and this and this and this and this and this and maybe this maybe a little more, maybe a little less and that probably is because you have clothes but you don't have outfits at least that's the case with me and to be honest I don't think I have that many clothes I've gone through a lot of closet clean up videos and those people have way more clothes than I do but I can tell by just looking at my closet that at least at least half of the stuff that's in there is stuff that I don't want to wear, that I won't wear, that I don't want to get rid of for some weird reason. In today's video, I'm gonna clean out my closet. What is a surprise? It's the title of the video. So in today's video, I'm gonna clean out my closet with the help of a few questions that I found on Pinterest and I hope that these will be helpful for you too because that's probably why you clicked on this video to find out how to clean out a closet not just watch me do this I have a few questions that I want to focus on and hopefully they will help me to make decisions whether I want to keep it, whether I want to store it away or give it away or even DIY some of it. The first question I'll ask myself is do I wear it often or at least a regular amount of times a year so that I can keep it. Now I want to have a deeper look at the clothing items I don't normally choose. Is it because I forget about them? Because that has happened, that I suddenly find something that I didn't know I had. Or is it because I deep down don't want to wear it, but I don't want to admit because... You know the feeling? You never know. You might want to wear it later. You might want to wear it next month. You might want to wear it in summer or in winter. Or maybe if this event comes up, or if this happens, or if I get nice shoes, I will wear it, and stuff like that, you know? Next question, and this is directed especially towards dresses and uh, special coats and stuff like that. Is it something that I can wear often? Because I don't need five dresses if I'm only gonna attend one wedding a year. And I don't have five dresses. But, hypothetically, to see if it makes sense to keep it. And also only keep it if it fits well. I had a dress that didn't fit me well and I used it for a DIY and now I like it. Next question, does it hold sentimental value? I've heard a few people talk about this and I didn't realize that this was the reason why I didn't want to give away and get rid of some clothing. And I'm gonna have a look at my old clothing and then decide if it's worth keeping it, whether I really need it to remember something and whether I can do something with it. For example, I've seen a few DIYs where they turn a old t-shirt into a cushion. So I'm gonna have a look. Next question, do I like wearing it? Do I feel excited when wearing it? And that's something that I can only say about a handful of clothing items in my closet. Next question, is it in good shape? I have a few clothing items that the color has faded, maybe even the print has faded and that are pretty worn out so I'm gonna separate those and just make sure that I give them away or make a DIY with them. Next question, a very important one, does this clothing item contribute anything to the style that I want to wear, that I want to achieve? I'm still in the process of finding out more about fashion, about different clothing items that match well and that fit me, that I like. So I want to ask myself if this clothing item really helps me to achieve this look or if it's kind of holding me back because it doesn't go well with what I want to wear or with the rest of my wardrobe. And the last question. This is a very important one because I always forget to ask myself this whenever I buy something. 
does this fit well with something else in my closet? I buy shirts and pants and shoes without asking myself if I have something to wear it with. And that's why I have a piece of paper next to me while I'm sorting out my clothes so I can write down clothing items that I want to get to match this special piece of clothing. For example, I have a pair of pants that I absolutely love and I haven't worn it out ever since I got it like half a year ago because I don't have anything that matches with it. Now about socks and underwear. I have actually sorted these out a few weeks ago because I was so angry that I couldn't find a proper pair of socks. I only had like one pair and they were very old and used and didn't match with the other one. This is a reminder to regularly look through your clothes and underwear and I'm gonna write down that I need some sleeping socks because I only have socks that I wear outside and then I want some comfy ones and now it's freezing outside and especially in my room it's really cold in winter so I need some socks. And also about bras. Am I the only one who has like 10 of them but only wears two and I haven't touched the others in ages? Yeah. I have three boxes ready for the stuff that I'm not gonna keep in my closet. Then I have a box for the stuff that I want to store away for summer. I already have some stuff in here. Then I have a box for stuff that I don't want anymore. And I have another box for stuff that I want to alter to make DIYs with. And I'm gonna keep my DIYs that I don't want to wear regularly because they're for special occasions for dance covers whatsoever. I'm gonna keep them in a separate bag. I already have some stuff in here. Now I'm gonna try on everything that needs to be tried on. Is that a sentence structure? Because there's some stuff that I know that I don't want anymore even if it fits and some stuff that I already know that it fits and I want it, so I'm not gonna try on everything, that's gonna take me forever. And now I'm on touch of me trying on my clothes. Smiley, smiley, little boy, jumping puppy, puppy world. Well, like a fairy tale comes true. It might be, might be your good time. Pumping sweet. I bought this for a um, V outfit inspiration video. I don't think I like this color anymore. Bye. I'm quite torn about this because this is a DIY that I made, but I ah, there's something about it that tells me not to wear it. I don't know what it is. I got this two-piece from a friend who saw that I was experimenting with fashion and she didn't want it anymore so she asked me if I wanted it and I said sure, why not? But now I'm stuck with it because I haven't worn it in about a year. Yeah, she gave this to me I think a year ago. <laughs> and I don't know what to do because hmm, it's pretty cool. But I can guarantee you that I will not wear it. So I should get rid of it. So this is my favorite pair of pants that I talked about before that I don't have anything to wear it with. So I'm writing down that I need to look for a suitable top for this because there's no way I'm gonna give these away. I made cookies yesterday, but I failed miserably. I thought that by adding less butter, they would be healthier. And probably they are, but they are so dry.
they taste more like a biscuit, which isn't a bad thing at all, but it's not a cookie. Now to some specific decisions that I made that might help you too. I found out that I had four plate shirts and that I actually only like this and this one. I'm gonna give two of these away because I don't, haven't worn them in ages and I already have two that I like. Now to the box that is filled with summer clothing. I made this DIY and I really like it but it's not the season for t-shirts. I had to make a really hard decision because I love this jacket. I absolutely love it. It's one of the items that I thrifted that I like the most and I thrifted the, this one in Spain. But I don't know what happened and it ripped. There's a hole in it. I tried to fix it, but it didn't work. I will put, have to put this in the DIY box because I can't give this away. This one was such a great purchase, but it has a hole in it and it needs to be fixed. This one I have to keep. You might be wondering, why do you have to keep it? It doesn't seem to be that special. And it is special because that's one of the first things I ever made myself. I need to keep it because it's, it holds a very special place in my heart because that's where my love for sewing began, so I'm keeping this. A sentimental piece. I don't know where I got it from, but it's really old and I, it has this vintage look and I love it so much. I love the color. I have to keep this. And another piece that I made when I was in school, I really like it. I'm gonna wear it in summer, hopefully. I have to find something to wear this with. This box is filled with stuff that I'm gonna give away because it's in good condition, but I don't like it anymore. And here's a top that I haven't seen in forever. And I don't even remember buying this. A pair of jeans that doesn't fit, never did because I bought it online yes style I think another sentimental item that I think I need to get rid of because I've worn this so many times for so many years that I don't know it feels like it's time to say goodbye and a lot of tennis clothing I used to play tennis I haven't in two three years now to the box of stuff that I want to use for DIYs. I got this in a sale, it was pretty cheap and I thought that I could do something with it. I think I'm gonna keep this shirt to make a DIY with it. It's also a summer dress that I don't think I will ever wear like this, but who knows, maybe I can make a DIY out of it. And also this jacket, it looks pretty okay, I haven't worn it that much, but it misses something black t-shirts in case I need some black fabric because it's very soft and simple. I don't know where I got this from but it looks pretty cute. It looks like something that I can do a DIY with. My super M DIYs, Taeyong and Mark. I'm keeping them in case I ever get to go to another Super M concert. It's almost been a year since I went to their London concert in 2020. Other two things that I want to keep in case I can put this over something and make it look a little bit cooler. There's so much. So this is it for my closet clean out. I think that it was pretty successful. I'm happy with how much clothing I was able to sort out what I want to do with it because that was long overdue, long overdue. I really hope that I was able to give you some tips that might help you to clean out your closet. Thanks a lot for watching, take care and see you in my next video.